If you've been following along with the one plus six tutorials that I've been doing lately, you now have the bootloader unlocked and you have TWRP installed as your custom recovery. Now, once we get to this part, you can really go and do anything that you need. You can install Majisk or SuperSU to gain root access, or you can install a custom ROM, a custom recovery, or a custom kernel, or you can just install various popular modifications. Some are popular user interface modifications. Some are more in-depth like exposed framework. But before you do any of that, the next thing that you want to do after you have TWRP installed is to create your first Nandroid backup. You always want to have a full Nandroid backup on hand just in case something goes wrong with one of these modifications you install. So while these mods are tested and tested a lot by the community, nothing's perfect and these developers are donating their time. So some bugs might not even get fixed. Some projects might get abandoned. Again, you just want to always have a full Nandroid backup ahead of time. So to do that, we're going to boot the OnePlus 6 into recovery mode. And if you're unfamiliar how to do any of this that I talk about in this video, then check the full tutorial that is linked below the video for those of you watching on YouTube. As I will have step-by-step -step instructions linked and detailed for all the things that we're doing here. So once we are at the TWRP main menu, we're simply going to tap the backup option. Now right here, it's going to ask us for a name. You don't have to pick a name here, but it's certainly something that I recommend. I recommend giving it a name that is that conveys what the backup is actually of, whether it's stock Oxygen OS or Lineage OS or before root, anything that can tell you what this is so that when you go back to it in a month or two, it's easy to find out what that is. I also recommend you append the date because I like to keep a two or three backups on hand just in case one doesn't work or I want to go further back. And then if you want, you can enable compression or even encryption, but that's not something that I really do. So once you have picked out your name, we want to do a full backup. You should have at least one full backup on hand. So you're going to want to head and select all the partitions that we have on screen. With that done, we can just go ahead and swipe the white arrows to the right to start our backup. And that's going to be the begin the backup process. Now if you have an OTG cable, you can store this backup on a thumb drive. Or after it is backed up on your phone, you can connect your phone to the PC with a USB cable and copy that backup to your PC for long-term storage. Either way, we're just going to be patient during this process. The amount of time it takes to do a backup will depend entirely on how big the backup is. Since we're doing a full backup, it's going to account for all of the partitions that we have. And their file sizes will depend on what you have installed. So if you have a lot of applications or games installed or a lot of files stored on the device, it will likely take longer than if it is a fresh install of Android. So 
So we're just going to be patient right here. We're almost done. We have the percentage down here. The top percentage is the actual partition that it's currently backing up. And then the bottom percentage is the overall backup process. And there we have it. That has done the full backup. Once that's done, we can tap the reboot system button down in the bottom right. We haven't changed any of the Android operating system right now. Nothing's been changed. Nothing's been modified. All we have done is created a full snapshot backup of our OnePlus 6. And we have stored it on our device. Again, very easy to do, and it's something that you should always have on hand just in case. So that is how to create a Nandroid backup on the OnePlus 6.